breathtaking views with colorful characters. These are bright, articulate, creative, generous, thick-headed people that have done remarkable things. Water you'll fall for. You go to wherever you want in the United States, wherever, everyone, wherever you go, everyone has an ocean except we have a greasy pole in the middle of ours. Artistic inspiration. The water and the island and the community and the people and the vibe, it has a million different attributes that I really appreciate and am grateful for. Welcome to Gloucester. For nearly 400 years, the city has drawn in all walks of life. Home to America's oldest seaport, Gloucester takes pride in its maritime history, founded on the backbreaking work of fishermen, says Mayor Safatia Romeo Taken. You could tell a fisherman just by the way they walk, just by the way they walk, because you know they had a crooked walk because of all the hard work with their back. You could tell the calluses on their hands. Till today, if you see a fisherman, he never has a clean hand, it's calluses. And that's the history of Gloucester. Everything's state of the art. Fisherman Al Catone makes his livelihood off the coast of Gloucester, but says the industry is falling on hard times. I don't fish as much as I used to because of the quota situation. I don't have the quota to fish every day. So I may fish two days a week. And uh, I'm like one of the young guys now. Salaries for Massachusetts fishermen vary greatly between different fisheries. The average income hovers around $40,000 a year. There's nobody coming into it because it costs a lot of money to get into it, but then once you get into it, you don't make any money. So we're kind of spinning our wheels right now. So hopefully, if we get things turned around, we can entice some young people back into it to keep this port going. We're still a working waterfront. I mean, we're open for business. You know, lobster is booming, the offshore fleets are doing well, and the potential is there too to, even, to grow even more. Some of the potential is right in town. Several restaurants are committed to serving Gloucester fresh seafood, displaying this logo on their doors and menus. Ask for a locally landed species, and it's going to be guaranteed fresh. It's so much better. So, so much better. Lenny Linquata is owner of the Gloucester House, a family business since 1957. Our soul is fresh, locally caught. Our haddock is, our lobsters, our scallops, when the boats are running calamari, we always buy the fresh calamari. No matter the dish, it is served with local pride. Local in feel, local people that work here, and the people that come here are locals also. Did we have a good day at school today? Yes! Yeah. Oh, yes, we're in the tourist industry, but when you're a destination, you're in a tourist location, you want to be able to provide the experience that the community has to offer. Business is good, says Linquata, but it's tough to watch the fishing boats dwindle over the years. This little place in Gloucester is called Harbor Cove. It wasn't so long ago when I was little that this little wharf that we're on right now had 16 boats. The boats were so thick here, you could almost walk across the boats all the way across. They were stacked on top of each other. It's sort of living history now, but in a way it's sort of sad because you've watched the industry sort of go. But like life, you know, one thing goes and something else comes and I think everyone's sort of just waiting for the new opportunity. Like Linquata, Al Catone hopes the tide will turn. The health of the industry resource-wise we think is great, but we're struggling a little bit because of the low quarters. The interesting thing about this city is we're primed to take advantage of the situation once science catches up with reality. We have infrastructure in place. We still have a few boats to harvest the fish. So we're in a good position to be a leader. I mean, this, the sky's the limit. And it is such a tough and dangerous mm -hmm. job. Mayor Taken says that still today they lose so many fishermen out at sea. Right, even with modern equipment and safety measures, you still lose fishermen. It's a very, very dangerous job. And a lot of fishermen actually fish alone because they can't afford to have a crew with them. So that makes the job even tougher, mm -hmm. even more dangerous. There is, of course, hope, as you heard there, that this industry will swing back a little bit. The fish are certainly seeming to come back and that it will get better. Next, Gloucester Ingenuity at work turning fish guts into big bucks.